I have put all my effort in this thing. I have invested so much in this. I believe that I can do this. And yet, all my effort is not working. What should I do? This is one of the messages somebody sent to me. And if this is your situation, I am here to answer you. And believe me, if you spend few minutes of watching this video and nothing happened to you, please, I urge you to stop watching all my videos. That is one thing. Because some of you have watched Moving Averages, uh, Bologna Band, a lot of them. Some of you have watched Momentum Candles. You have watched videos. Like some of us, we go through all the stress, all the expense each time, each day to make sure that forest will be a reality. At the end of the day, what we think that will happen never happened to us. Now, I'm going to tell you the right time you can visit your market and you can predict what the market will do in the day. So, if I want to name this video, I can say that this is a, how I lived my life, or I can say that it's a daily chat. You know, anything you know, you know, I'm not good in, uh, in describing the, the content, uh, I mean, the quality of my videos. The only thing I know I can tell you is that watch this video. As long as you want to be a successful trader, you will find something that will grab from that video. All right, now, my name is GDFS. Please, I want you to subscribe to our channel. I want you to subscribe to our channel please give this video a thumbs up if you have been watching our videos all this why i i know i'm not i may not be at my best but i know that i'm putting my effort to make sure that things will work well for you because forest trading is not an easy stuff if you have been stressed out if you have been frustrated if you think that forest is a scam or you don't know what else to do you just feel like giving up please just give it a little try and try this one i'm going to tell you now all right each day the candle must open like when you visit your day candle, each single day a candle will open, and that candle opens by one, depending on where you are, by one a.m. at night. So in here in in Africa, in my own part of the country, our candles, new candles, opens by one a.m. And when that happens, it simply means that if you watch this place, if you watch this place, when that happens, every single thing here will change. Look at here. Like currently, now this is what you have 758. Now, and if this thing here is, look at the place, if this thing here is around 10, once it is, once it gets to 1 a.m. at night, 1 a.m., so I don't know about the your other time frame, but when I visited the other countries, I didn't. Um, I didn't see the differences like that. So 1 a.m. So once it is 1 a.m., please, I'm teaching you how to do your chart analysis and the right time for you to visit your market and see what the market is going to do. Now, some of you will be sleeping while the market is setting up. Now, some of you will sleep at night and wake up early in the morning and see that this thing is like this. Like you wake up by 3, by 4 a.m. in the morning, you see that this thing is like this. Sometimes you see this one like this, around uh, 1.2 point, 3.5 point, points. Now, do you know that each morning that this thing will shift? What, how do I mean? Every daily candle that opens, these things will rephrase. What do I mean by rephrasing? It's not, it, it will reduce. Like the cap market, like when you have. Uh, uh, like the trend of the market may be so high like this and as it is this ones here okay let's because i'm pointing at the bullish so this one may be 10 please take note of this this one may be 10 so as this one is 10 um in number like 10.16 or 9.16 once it is 9 once it is 0 point one or some other country it will be zero zero point something like that so once it is zero point one this whole thing will reduce in size if it is 10 sometimes it reduces to two so sometimes if it is 11 it reduces to seven or five please take note of those things i'm just teaching you one of the secret things that i've been using and I, I keep using it until I am done doing forest in this life, except 
any update that will affect it then will come up and also inform you now so when this thing you are seeing here now was running at the rate of four point or five point then by one this thing now reduced to two now the question is did it affect the chart this is one question you should ask yourself now let's use this as a case study now this thing you are seeing here now was moving like this to show a strength of momentum because this is to confirm um, this this one here is to confirm um, a momentum candle now to show this momentum and let's assume that it is at this point that the time changed the whole thing is still pointing to um upward direction which is a bullish uh, direction yet what signifies the strength of the market where you can set your eyes to see whether this market is whether the bullish have strength or not now reduces in percentage then sometimes some people will wake up in the morning they will now see that this chart is upward that this chart is upward but the percentage is downward now i'm talking about people who are doing forex and not those people who just rush into the market and because they have a deposit they will start trending i'm talking about people that want to make money on forex trading so from there now they think that this market will continue like that or they will think that the market is about to reverse because the percentage of bullish have reduced which means it is it is coming down then sometimes the confusing aspect of it is that because they now see this thing that because they now see this thing this very one that is now minus uh, that this thing is now 90 um, 89 cent so once they see it like that sometimes they think that jump index 10 is reversing so it's reducing from 10 and uh, it, it is reducing which means sellers have entered the market not knowing that this thing was somewhere like five then at one the market not changed so as this market changed from that particular direction it was going now what change is the percentage the market may be moving to that direction so when you don't pay attention to these small small things it makes it difficult for you because every single thing you are seeing in this market counts but what we don't really know many people don't really know and this is why people don't want to review those things so you like you have lows and highs so once people don't review those simple simple secrets to you it makes it difficult for you to read the market and be accurate sometimes maybe someone that came to me that was mentored through someone told me that he was informed that as long as this thing uh, is read that the market is on bearish i said no these things are wrong you don't you don't do analysis from there now so what do you do in such a case what should i do in such a case so when you wake up in the morning look at what you should do please make sure you give this video a thumbs up as just uh, they, this is the only thing i need from you all right just this is the only thing i need from you all right so this is one thing you should do go to this place take this for, for some of you who don't really know about this you can find it in case you don't have it go to the plus look at it is the vertical line here so in case you don't know now this is the candle for the day place this thing on top of this candle this is the candle for the day now when you have this thing then now touch touch this very thing here you will see where the journey started this is where the journey started now when you check this thing if you use your this thing and move it like this you'll be seeing the time below look at where to see the time please at this point this is where to see the time but i follow this thing squarely you understand what i'm saying so if you move it like this you will see check it check it you will see then from there you will discover that it's now 1 a.m so this is the 12th hour this is the 12th hour so from there now so when you have that thing go to like five minutes you will see it go to like 15 uh, 15 minutes you will see it so then when you want to be sure of where you are you can go to one uh, time frame 
Then when you calculate the time spent so far, so let's count it together. This thing is here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you see it? Now calculate from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when you calculate it and you will check your time, you discover that it is the same time with your clock or what your phone watch. What I mean is that it will correspond like currently now, this is what we have. This is what we have. 906. This is what we have. So when you calculate this candle, it has to correspond to the time that you have. Come on. I don't know if someone is understanding what I'm saying. So it has to correspond with the time. This is what we learn in the mentorship class. But I just want to give it up because I've seen a lot of people who are losing out in this forest world. So sometimes I feel so pain. But this thing will not be as clear as you feel like because you may not understand it except maybe you are on a mentorship class or your mentor is putting all those things to you. All right. So, so this is part of this. So if you calculate this thing from there, it's going to give you this. So what this thing simply means is that it's going to help you to detect the movement of the candle. So when you have this now, you now go over to your four hours time frame when you go over to your four hours time frame it now helps you to check what this market is going to do now this is the current candle that is trending in the four hours remember that what you should be having is 24 candles that makes up a day in one hour 24 candles is what you should be counting whether whether bullish move uh, bearish move inverted doji hammer marabuza one thing that anything in fact, whatever that will happen is that before the end of the day the candle must end at the number of 24 this is one thing you should have in mind now when you have set your eyes on this then you now check what you have from this very angle from this very place that i've been pointing then it will now help you to see that what this market really uh, what this market was doing is that this market was actually on a bullish move. Then, because it is now um, at a zero point uh, something like nine, which means it was somewhere around two. Do you get that now? Somewhere around two point something. So, at the change of that uh, one hour candle, at the open of the one hour candle, um, day candle. So it now reduced to something and it's now counting. So with the shape of the candle, you can now say that this market currently now will be moving on Excel position because from the percentage of the bullish trend, the market reduced its power. So you now go over to your candle, your chart of the day, and start picking what the market is saying. Now, when you have those things in mind, then the next thing for you to do is to return back to your chart and now start checking on the key zone, which is where you now start checking on the zone and see possibly the support zone and the resistance zone. Then from there, you now try to see a breakout. That is where you now come in to add your trend candles, trend indicators, which one of them is moving average. You can use moving average like 50. But there is one moving average I always ask you to add up in your chart. The reason for that is that it helps you to detect the trend. Like this one now I have. This one now I have. When you check, it was trying to move likewise there. This time it crossed, but it was not strong enough. Now, this thing can still happen again. Why? While all those things are going on, your duty is to relax and watch the candle move from the direction. Now, can I advise you, if you want to make money in a day, and just try this thing I'm telling you now, if you want to make money in a day, follow this thing. Just watch the video like two times, you understand it. Like, as I'm saying it now, some of you are good in skipping, skipping, skipping. So where I make points, you may not understand. The only thing many of us are looking at is to get to the place and add the period, the uh, exponential, all of those things. At the end of the day, you keep on losing everything. Let's just take it that this is a cost that they that they sell to you. If I sell this 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 cost to you, will you just skip to, uh, rush it like that? And some of you are good in complicating yourself. 
like you are listening to somebody all of a sudden you jump down from that place and open another video the video you opened don't have any relationship with what you heard a few minutes ago then you use all those things and contradict yourself then you say ah this one is, ah this one looks good it's like i'm going to try it why you are doing those things who are you confusing you are trying everything with your heart and money you are trying everything with your heart and money and at the end of the day you may lose out now look at this thing i tell you so because of this very this thing it now helps you to see that this market will be pointing upward because you have checked the percentage of the momentum from that angle you now see that this market is more of bullish than bearish then you now come back and check the key zones and check the shape of the candle especially from your higher time frame then from there you not dictate what this market is going to do and making predictions will be more easier for you but when you don't check all those things you now see that this thing is showing red 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 so for that reason you think it's going to be a bearish market or bearish is about to reverse not knowing that there is going to be what we call continuation of trend because it may be at fifth level at, at at number of five and return to five two then pick up from there again and keep moving but for you to do this thing just take a day and watch this thing check all the charts just take a day and watch this thing just try this thing now for you to know whether what you are saying is nothing just just keep your eyes on this like if you can be awake t12 set your eyes on this take take your pen and paper write down the exact number by 12 by 12 just try this thing like if you have something like one point something just write it down or you have some of those high high numbers like 10 8 just write it down watch it till one immediately it is 1 a.m check it again just just be counting just be counting immediately it is 1 a.m go back there and check it again sometimes hold your phone and watch it you see that this thing will reduce drastically just check it and see it will reduce and when those things are reduced sometimes it becomes difficult for people to see that this market is going to be a bullish or a bearish for people who know what they are doing but the majority of traders don't even care about those things they pay attention to the charts only not knowing that something is controlling the charts like the candle is controlling your moving averages or whatever indicators you are praying to have on your trading chart so these things are very simple to do but in case you still want to find more of these things to a way that you have forest at the tip of your fingers i urge you to pay and learn pay and learn every video i've dropped on youtube is free i've never charged for strategy i've never charged for indicators but where i charge is only on mentorship because it's like transferring what makes me who i am to you so it is it, it shouldn't be free people i pay people when they mentor me and i know how much it costs me so i'm just giving it out for almost free and this very thing this very video you are watching now i'm making it a promise that everyone under my mentorship i'm going to throw more light on this more clearly in a mentorship class so it's going to be this week uh, possibly possibly ending of this week or next week so i'm going to have a comprehensive lecture on this very thing so if you know you want to join in this class please i urge you to rush in and pick up a form and uh, pick up a mentorship form so that when you fill it and make payment you will join in this class and for some of you have been asking me um is it one month course is it a week course how long do i stay go and ask people there are people that i have in my mentorship class that have been there for a year now not that they are not trading well not that they are not doing well but i'm not good at sending people out immediately because some people you see some of them are working some of them have not been able to start using forest as a means of survival or as a means of income some of them are using it as a side hustle so some of them you can't give them one month course and you know how deep forest is some of them when you give them assignment it takes them two weeks to return so how do you give them one month course is to frustrate them some of them when sometimes they will be sick that they will come back again in the next six months and say i was so when you go to your when you go to the enrollment form and discover that they are part of you then you still give you give them opportunity to learn more and sometimes when someone returns to you you it simply means that this person want to find out something that is what makes you a, a, a mentor 
So based on that, I'm not good at chasing people away. And some people that have watched and start making money, sometimes they move on with their life. So I keep paying attention. There are some people in my mentorship and in our class that have stayed there for one year, two years. That is one thing about life. So they will be there. I can't force them. The only thing is that sometimes they will start directing the new ones because we are like family in that place. So GDFX, I always wish that someone will start cashing out in this forest. Because it is one of the means that people can use to solve their problem currently now. So, and it's real. Why do I lament that you should learn it? Is that no matter how good the car is, if you don't know how to drive, you don't assume it. So people are assuming with their heart and money. And that is why they are losing that. Sometimes somebody will say, eh, I prefer, eh, how can I use $200, $1,000, even $100 to learn it when I know I can deposit it and keep trying? Do you know? that people have tried these things you are doing severally and they still lose out everything and finally come back to beg and learn. By that time, they may not have the money they need to learn. Sometimes they will not start begging you with nothing when they have spent everything. So, you know, if you think that education is hard, then try ignorance. So your own failure in this forest is your own ignorance, not that this thing is spiritual or anything. All right, GDFX, I love you so much. Thank you.